Okay. <laughs> so I have finished my quilt. This is the introduction to my quilt. And usually I know, I know, I know. And um, here's Jackson and here's my Sophia. Um, I've made this quilt. <laughs> And usually I would be introducing it, but here they are. What do you think, kids? Good. Who who actually helped me make my quilt? Yeah, you'll see some footage. Oh, did Isla help me make it? Thank you, Isla. Um, these are our grandkids, just a couple of them out of the twelve we have. And what? And Sophia, which what part of the quilt did you um, did you choose? And what is that called? The rim. It, it's called the binding. So my Sophia chose the bind, yeah, the binding, Isla. Yeah, the binding. What is that? What is that? What is that there, Isla? It's a birdie, clever girl. And that's a bike. That's a clever girl. So here is my quilt in all of its glory. I'm doing a sort of a semi-tutorial on this quilt. Um, yeah, where's mommy? <laughs> oh, well, anyway, this is my life. So here's some here's a photograph. Oh, take her out. Here's a photograph of my quilt that I've made. My I've made, and I, we were working on the um we were working on the backing. If you remember my last video, and I'll just show you um up close some of the images that I have I've created. You can see me the, sort of a tutorial of me making the quilt and how I did it. I fussy cut all of these images. And these are all raw edge applique on, which I show you how I did. Sophia chose my binding, which is pretty. And I have a, I, I put a hanging sleeve on the back of it, which I'll show you. Um, I, I just pinned it on, but I put a hanging sleeve on the back so it can be hung up. It's only about a 40 inch square. And uh, yeah, so there's my little quilts. Yeah, I love it. I'll take some still photographs of it and put it up so you can see it in its, in its, um, in detail. And now we'll finish it off. And so finish it off. And here's <laughs> here's these clowns helping me. Is it any wonder I get anything done? All right, yeah. guys. Say, Jackson, come in. Say bye. 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 I wanted to show you my progress on my um, my little shabby chic quilt here. But before I say that, I just wanted to let you know or ask you guys if you knew that the term shabby chic, meaning all these soft, pale, rosy, lovely, lacy, creamy images. Um, did you know that the term shabby chic is trademarked? You're not allowed to use it. You're not allowed, I'm, I'm not going to get in trouble because it comes out of my mouth. But in an advertising way, you cannot say something is shabby chic. It's trademarked by a woman in, in England who in the, what, the 80s or the 90s, when the decorating idea came out, uh, Rachel Ashwell, her name is, she actually trademarked the term shabby chic. So Etsy shops or eBay, you're not allowed to refer to your items in a commercial way describing this, what I'm doing right now, as shabby chic. So this is not shabby chic, folks. This is shabby uh, and then it's chic, <laughs> but it's the whole look. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that nuts? So many weird things. So anyway, I don't want to get in trouble with Rachel Ashwell. So here is my understated, very calm. I'll, I'll bring it back. What I'm doing is I'm going to show you. It's just neutral. Even with just, just pale, the touches of the pale pink and the blue, you're not going to really see the background uh, unless you sort of look at it. And then you're like, oh, yes, it's that soft, old-fashioned, vintage, certainly not shabby chic, um, <laughs> look of, of, just, of just like um, calm, quiet awesomeness, right? Not shabby chic. Nah, this isn't shabby chic. I don't want to get in trouble with the trademark gods. So anyway, as you can see, I have put on my um, my note fabric there, and then my button fabric up there and on the sides. Quite like that. Now I've just made a. Um, I don't. I think I changed it up a bit. I just made a sort of a collage of fabrics. Just sort of cut them. What I have done, I just sort of cut them and then. Yeah, I sliced and diced and put them together, but I did make sure that the that the grain of the fabric 
is all nice or else it would be all really wonky. So this is lovely and straight. I straightened everything out as I was sewing it. So as not to, even though it's a wall hanging, I want it to, when, it's, uh, when, it, when it hangs, I want it to hang nice and straight. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna quilt this yet. But there is my background for my art quilt that I'm making. And now I will do, I will show you how I'm gonna do the uh, the actual bicycle. Okay, I'm here at my computer and I just wanted to show you how I'm going to get my my um, penny farthing image that I was talking about. Now I have gone to a website called, uh, just type in free vector and I typed in penny farthing. Bicycle free vector. Now obviously that's the image I want to do but it's too small. So, Elliot here is, is videotaping it for me. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I said, why don't you just print it out? <laughs> well, well, I don't know. Why didn't I print it? It's too hard to print out. So this is what I'm doing. This is easy and how I'm going to do it. So what I've done is I have that image, but I need it big, right? So what I've done is I've taken six pieces of paper and joined them together with sellotape. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mouse up to the up here and I'm going to if this is zoomed this is 110 percent so what I'm going to do if you could just show it Elliot I'm just going to zoom, I'm just going to use the zoom button and I'm going to plus it now watch my image get bigger 125 percent 150 percent 175 percent 200 I'm actually going to do it to uh, 300. That's pretty good. I like that. Now, do you see that? I a like little, that a little, size. A little trick. You can also use on your keyboard control plus or control minus. Uh, if you, you can hold truck, you uh, can hold know. control and plus. We'll zoom right in. Boom, 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 boom. So watch this. Let me no, show no, you. No, 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 don't do it. Just I don't watch, know. Watch, no, watch, no, watch, no, watch, no, watch. no, don't do it. I don't know what you're watch, doing. Watch, watch. Control plus, control plus, control minus, control minus. Okay, I don't know what that means. No, no, you're making it. Okay, okay, that's it. And it, and it shows and it shows it right over there. It, it, it shows it when you do it. Okay, so it's a 400. I want it 400%. So here's my penny farthing bicycle <laughs> free vector. It has to be free, folks. Don't be steal. Oh, who's that? Don't be stealing anybody's images. So here it is. Now I have my paper, and my my computer screen is is this big. Okay. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my sharpie. Now, I did this before. If you guys have been following along, I did this before with my letters, remember? Now, I'm just going to roughly do the frame. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to trace around the image with my black Sharpie to, to, where I can, to where I can do it. Now, I won't bore you. Or, or should I? Should I bore them? Maybe. Yeah. Well, you just do the outside, and then you can do the. Uh, yeah, I'll just and, do the outside. And mom, you know what? You just just do the center. Just just write it. Just just do it right down like the center. So so no no now you're centered over there. So just because it's it's not even all that thick. So just go right down the center of the, the black line, like that. There. Oh okay. Oh, Makes okay. it easy. Okay. <laughs> oh how, okay. So I have to somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. <laughs> Ellie, how am I going to do this? I'm going to have to somehow transpose this image in the with the pattern uh, onto I am going to use a fusible interfacing I hope this isn't messing up my computer screen it's I not I hope not okay now there I got that that probably bit. is actually whatever is it is it messing it up no okay so I got that bit now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Wait a second, where's the, where's, where's the image? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to move. Oh, here we go. Here we go, folks. I'm going to move the image. Look, look at this. Look, who needs a, who needs a copy, please? Look, so I'm going to, I'm going to finish up. My, look, isn't this awesome? <laughs> oh, it's not laughing. My fans think, I'm, oh, where's my second thing? Oh, here we go. Let's finish it up. 
So I'm going to finish it up. Look. Are you videotaping it? Yes, I'm videotaping all okay. this. So look, here is my... Gold. I don't know what I'm going to do with this pattern. You're just going to do the pattern, aren't you? Yeah, but... but oh, look at all these lines. How am I going to get them? How am I going to get these little lines? Maybe I'll have to just... um. Well, I'll figure that out. Well, here's but what you do. Here's my pattern, folks. <laughs> So just do the circle and here, I'll just let me let me show you. No, no, don't let me show you. I'll just go zip, 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 zip. And you do it yourself. And you go right into the center. Make it nice and easy on yourself. Well no. Okay. Okay, zip, 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 zip. And then take that right into the center. <laughs> and then anyway, anyway. The, here, just one second, is my my penny farthing. And obviously, this will be look a lot more straighter uh, when obviously. it's. So let's take it apart, or let's take it. A, look. Looks pretty good. So now here, now take it over to my thing, which I've just shown them. Now here, when I cut this out, look, that's gonna that's it has to be bigger maybe. Do you think? Why would it have to be bigger? I think it's going to look pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to add, I'm going to add stuff. So anyway, folks, there is my pattern, which is my next bit. I will, I'll put my, I'll put my camera on my tripod mm -hmm. and I'll show you how I've cut my pattern out, how I've, I've put it onto my, um, my fusible web, my interface, my fusible web to, to iron it down onto my background so there you go that's how i got my my pattern from the the computer um f for free for free and it's it's a it's a good image right elliot yeah that's a good way of doing it <laughs> such a creative way of doing it <laughs> I'm at my, my ironing board here, and what I'm, I found in my, um, I had to go shopping. I don't have plain black fabric. <laughs> go figure, all my stuff. But this is a, a uh, sort of a tone on tone of gray, but it reads black um, fabric for my bike. But uh, this is all trial and error. I, 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 I'm, I cut this out, uh, you know, just like, you know, roughly. This is my pattern. I have transposed it onto the paper web, but I had to like keep, I have to do like little pieces of uh, sellotape to hold this, you know, very delicate wheel on. And I started ironing it and the sellotape kept messing up. Then I realized I don't need my paper pattern. So I can take off, because I, I, I outlined, I outlined it. So I don't need this paper pattern, do I? No, I don't think I do. So I'm going to take this paper pattern off. I don't know quite what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Maybe I don't. Oh, I don't know. Oh, whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, no, yeah, yeah. So I... I oh, I ripped my pattern. Oh, never mind. Um, so I'm just going to... Oh, yeah, there's my pattern. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Yeah, there's my pattern. Sort of. Yeah. So I'll just take this off. And then, because this is... Oh, I might forget this. So this is what I want, right? I want this I want this image of this bike wheel. And then I'll build the spokes from there, right? So I'll, I'll iron this on real well. And then I'll cut this out nice. I'll cut it out nice and circular. I don't really need the pattern anymore. Um, yeah, so that's where I am now. So I'll have a black wheel and a black, you know, going into the hub here. And then I'll create, with the, maybe with, with this, I'll create black spokes and fill them in later. Because I can just iron them on. So I'll, I'll, this, I'm going to cut this out and I'll see how it goes. So I'm, I'm cutting out my image um 
having iron this stuff on now i gotta be brave i gotta cut out this lot here because all i want to be left with right is the bike tires and the spoke and stuff hmm so i gotta so i'm gonna be brave and i'm gonna start cutting this out and then um figure out how i'm gonna do the spokes and and, and stuff so work in progress so I've, um, I've cut out my pattern, and it's sort of the look I want in, in, in the beginning stage here. Um, it's not quite as fine because I'm not, I'm not a real good cutter, um, but at least my tires aren't flat. And it has, it has gone the other way. Of course, it's slop, it's opposite. I don't know. I don't know how to do this stuff. But um, it's it's turned out. I, there's the seat. It's a little bit thicker, but I like it. It's I want you to see the bike image. I'm going I, now. Obviously, I put the spikes in the, the spokes in it. Um, and then I'm. I think I'm going to add some like. I, I said I'm going to add some roses and some birds and embellish it a, a lot. So all of the interest is on the bike. So I'm getting there. Um, the the tires. I'm just going to um just going to try to make them as smooth as possible um as round as possible. It was sort of it's very very difficult cutting out, you know, squirrely um spidery bits here. And then I'm going to figure out this spoke here, these here. Maybe I'll make that a little bit smaller and make that a little bit smaller and try to shape up this these bike wheels but all in all that's the look i'm going for so you just see a bike i i, I like it i think it's i think it's pretty awesome considering how redneck this is <laughs> so stay tuned all right so i'm over here at my ironing board and i've ironed down my frame and now i'm doing the spokes and all i've done is i've just taken slivers of the black um and sliced it off. Some of them are tight, a little bit wider. It, it's, it's fine. I've taken my inner pattern that I had cut out and just trying to just sort of vaguely line it up my spokes. And it's not perfect with where the where the um, where it was on my pattern here. So I'm going to take the backing off of my my uh, spoke and then just sort of line that up. To where it should be and then just sort of cut that to, sh to fit why did you just put a dot on either side what? like on a fabric dot so that way you know you know what i mean so line up like basically like put it down and then you just like dot 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 oh. dot right the way around and that way you would know and then also on the inside That way you would know and then you don't have to keep on going back putting it in kind of, you know What like a Like, like the a fabric like a fabric pen like if just to just make a dot and then you'll end up covering it over Just a dot here uh. and then a dot there and then a dot here then a dot there and you just keep on doing that And then you just know where where it lines up mm, That's why I have clever that's why I have clever sons. <laughs> uh, no, don't do it so fast. Here, here's, I do it slow. Here's my, where's my Elliot? <laughs> Are you clever? He's working in the garden, doing yep. lots of stuff for us today. So he's a, a, a my resident videographer. Yep. Yeah, he's clever. Thank you, Elliot. That's what I'll do. Say bye. <laughs> See ya. So I have to admit it. My son was right, much easier. If you can see, I've just put a little black sharpie where the spokes are going to be going in to the center spoke. I didn't do it right there because it's just pretty much, I can just eyeball that. Um, and then I'll just bring a little black piece here for the center hub. And then I have from the, from the strips, that I sliced off. And I must say, I actually used my um, my Fiskars ruler to make these tiny, tiny, tiny little uh, strips. Um, I've I've put the the um, iron on uh, web um, iron on very, very tightly to the black, and then I've just sliced off the little things for the spokes. Some of them are a bit wider. Eh, that's all right. But the leftovers. 
of this that I've done, this length, I've, I've come over here and I can use these for my back wheel. My, I can use the little um, leftovers because I've done, I've done a, quite a long length um, just of the little strips. And these can be for my back wheel. So uh, it's getting there. So I want to show you how far I've come along with my, my bicycle quilt here. Um, the, uh, just a few of these spokes I, I have to maybe perhaps glue down because it's just a sliver of black. But I, I'm real pleased with that. Um, my, my seat, and it's, it's, it's doing what, I'm looking at it through the viewfinder, it's doing what I wanted it to do. I wanted you to see the bike. Now I'm going to start, what I've been doing, I'm gonna start embellishing my bike. What I've done is I've cut out quite a few images um, that I think I'm gonna start putting on my bike. What I wanted is it's a it's a little bit too stark. So what I thought my thought process is I'm just going to start adding a little bit of greenery that I've cut out from a beautiful. Let me show you the fabric. Um, it's back here. This is the fabric I've had. I've had it for ages. It's a it's a um, a beautiful vine green vine fabric. Um, it's a Cranston Village. You can see that. Let me just see. Yeah, it's just a beautiful green ivy, I should say, a green ivy fabric that I've just cut out. A, a, um, I've sort of fussy cut a bunch of images. I'm just gonna. I want to soften this edge over here. And at first, I was telling Elliot. At first, I he was sort of designing this with 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 me, my son Elliot. I said maybe I'll put like um a, a lamp pole in silhouette or a, a, a tree branch. But he says, no, I don't think so. He liked the idea of a trailing, of just this trailing um, ivy coming up this border. Uh, just however I'm gonna do it. Anyway, I'm, I'll, I'll mess about with that. But this is the, this is the look. Um, I have this piece, this is a big piece. So you get the idea there on that side um, I think I, I might have to cut out a few more, cut out a bit more of the, um, to make it really look leafy and attach that there. Then I have a couple of, uh, big roses to, to go with this look. So I might stick them in again, just to soften the border over here. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So you get the idea. Then um, let me just move my camera up here a little bit. Let's see if I can do this here. Yeah, let me just see. So you see that look just softens that. And I quite like the dark. And um, this floral that I cut out has like a muted tanny green. But that's soft. That's going into the, the uh, border. But, um, oh, here's, here's a few butterflies I cut out. So I might just stick them up there somehow. Um, but on the, on the bike, what I thought, I cut out these two birds. Uh, yeah, cut out these two really bright yellow birds to add some, to add some pop. And then um, I like this red, I like this red, Oh, I forgot to put the hub on there, but I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm going to put a flower. Ah, can't be bothered now. A little flower over there. A little red. Um, or maybe a little bit of red with the greenery over here. Yeah, just to, just to, if you can see that. So this is, I have these red flowers here. Um, I'm just sort of maybe going to trail them down into the hub there. Somehow, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but something like that, something like that, just sort of maybe. Oh, and there's a there's a a uh, a little cardinal. I'll stick a cardinal over there. Just add a pop of, add a pop of red. So it's it's coming along, as you can see. Um, it, there's there's no <laughs> there's no real rhyme or reason. You know, to to. Uh, no, wherever, where, however I'm going to do it, um, to, to the uh, designing of this. But um, I'll mess about with it. And uh, there you go. You can see it's coming along. Um, 
I don't know what I'll do over there. I'm sometimes, you know, what is that expression? Less is more. Not in my world, but you know, more is more. But maybe, maybe I'll just bring a little bit of the greenery over there. But this is my work in progress here. Now, what I will do with the, with this, I will actually, um, um, I'm going to glue these bits down with my Elmer's glue. You've seen me do that before. I did that with my birds on my wire. I did, did that with my mermaid quilt. I'll just, I'll just hit this, hit the back of these with glue and stick them down wherever I'm comfortable sticking them down. Um, and so, yeah, so, so it's coming along. Just a small, it's only about... 40 inches by 40 inches or something like that and as you can see the background is neutral and yet when you go up to it it's like that word with the ephemera that's like paper like a, a like a like old card this is what i wanted it to look like i wanted it to look like sort of an 1890s greeting card something like that so um again work in progress and i will i'll keep you posted well here's my bike so far my progress and i'm very pleased with the placements of all of my bits i have not uh glued down any of my flowers i decided to put a little cardner on on the back of the seat that i've just fussy cut my vines are going up and trailing around just to soften soften that border Again, no rhyme or reason, just a, a few butterflies. I feel this side of my quilt is a little busier um, of the background. And so I, I concentrated my, um, the most part of my darker image on the, uh, what is it, the left-hand side of my quilt. Again, from a distance, all you see is the, bi the bike and the greenery, which is what I wanted you. But it's when you get up close that you see the the details uh, the little birds sitting on the seat uh, again I which I fussy cut my butterflies and I stuck a little cardinal up there now I'm going to with my glue stick my Elmer's glue stick I'm going to just glue down all of these they're all they're all in bits they're all just about four or five inch bits going to just glue all, all of these down. Oh, I stuck a little bird there. It's the look I wanted. It's that look I wanted. I, I'm, I'm pleased. Although looking at it through here, again, this part, this wheel's a little bit wonky. It's very difficult to get. I'm not bothered. Um, but that's the look. Yeah. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to glue this down. And then I won't show you, I'll show you the finished product. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine. Uh, it, oh, I'm going to glue it down. I'm going to I'm going to pin baste it with my backing, which I've not chosen yet. Um, make a quilt sandwich and take the whole thing over to my machine, and then free motion quilt um, all around the bits to to secure everything down, and then maybe just do a, a little bit of quilting in there. Um, free motion quilt all of that down it's all raw edge so when you see it up close like here the butterfly let's say that the, the birds are raw edge but when and so I'll just stitch very very carefully around there when you come back from a distance you'll just see the pretty picture that it is hopefully it is hopefully you guys think it is Again, just a wall hanging. I'll finish it up. I'll stick a, a, um, a hanging sleeve on the top back of it after I choose the backing. I like, the, I like this border, the little button, button border. I thought that was pretty. Just a little bit of interest. I don't know how I'm going to bind it, but you'll have seen the quilt beginning. But, so that's the, not a tutorial, or perhaps it is. Maybe you learned a few, a few, a few little things, how to make an art quilt. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just doing my thing and cutting out pieces of fabric and gluing them down. That's what I do. Um, but I, I, was, I was real pleased with the, the image of my bike. It's the look I wanted. So there you go, folks. Thanks for following along with me. And um, yeah, I appreciate it. So off to finish up my penny farthing quilt. All right.
Bye. I um, was just going to show you before I before I click off um, the the what I'm doing here. Um, I was going to finish the video, but I'm just going to show you. I'm free motion quilting my images down here. Um, I've already done I've already done the black over here on the bike, which you'll be able to see. But I'm just working. This is the top of of the, my quilt here, and what I've done to the best of my ability, I've I've glued down. Uh, they're not really glued down, but I'll just figure it out. I've, these um, images here of my now keep that one there of my um flowers and my roses on the top and i'm just free i'm just raw edge quilting around the edges i'm gonna try to keep my hands out of the way and i'm just the, the, it's a raw edge and i just go sort of a medium slow to fast and as you can see um I sometimes have to mess about. Oops! I try to keep my hands out of the way with the um, with the edges to keep them under the presser foot. And I'm just going to go because they're little tiny, fine little edges. I just go in the veins. It's it can be difficult because you have all these little tiny bits here um, to try to get under your presser foot. And again, I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. just go around and down on the the leaf and then I don't overthink it because you can you're like oh no I didn't catch that eh, that's fine up oh, that one folded up a bit so I'll just go back and yeah see you see again my, my, my machine is set up for free motion quilting there's a little fold I didn't get that sometimes I have to go over it a few times and that little leaf there because when you have tiny little pieces of fabric they go under your needle and it's like ah oh, it rucks up and but for the most part just the whole point is to enclose all of these raw edges now I'm going backwards I can't really see what I'm doing here <laughs> and it gave it is it, a little fold it's okay just uh, right there now I'm coming to this this is another flower here so now I'm just going to get the lay of the land and see where I have to go so you can see I cut it out and I can't see where I'm going <laughs> fine and let me see I'm really going backwards here <laughs> now what I'm going to do with this flower, I'm going to go in and fit, I'm going to sort of make, I'm going to sort of try to just copy or just follow, I don't know, some of the, 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 the places on the flower, just to give it some dimension. This quilt's going to be quilted about every half inch or so, or an inch. It, uh, because of the because of the design patterns and again just consistently and I usually don't quilt a quilt an inch apart or half an inch apart that's an awfully lot of work but this is a small oh excuse my arm this is a small wall hanging and it's not a lot of work so like that, that flipped up I just sort of push it on push it over with my presser foot up close it doesn't look awesome <laughs> Now this is the pattern, but far away, it's fine. Now I do want to go in and capture those little bits there. There you go. Because I'm, I'm not a perfectionist whatsoever uh, at all. Oops, my thread ran out. Anyway, it's a good place to stop. Um, but with these, uh, hopefully you can see these little bits here. Whoops, my, my browser foot went under. These little bits... I, I do want to catch capture down um so so yeah so that's that's what I've been doing so there you go let me see if you can see my little my yellow flower here it just has a bit of definition and my 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 petals there and the vine now I'll go and I'll I'll do around the butterflies here and then I'll do around these sort of lace doilies 
the pieces of lace there and then I'll come back here on the on the border and I'll just I'll just sort of outline these pieces of the, my border and um, yeah so that's what I that's what I'm doing now and I am finishing up all right see you folks bye okay folks um, here I am I'm just finishing up my uh, bicycle quilt I'm doing the uh, finished up all my free motion quilting um, I keep coming back to my to get my camera to show you all, how I'm working on it I've really enjoyed working on this it's just small um, which is what I need to work on right now um, but I, I don't know if you can see I've done all my free motion quilting man free motion quilting really shrinks a quilt and I always keep saying to you guys when you quilt however you quilt make sure it's consistent over your entire quilt or, or else you'll get a big lump you may like the lumps I don't know but like of, of like a fabric that's not quilted and the other places are quilted I like to quilt it consistently so I was doing this and because of the the design element I was having to do as I was saying before about every half inch to it to an inch <laughs> so then all of a sudden I thought how am I going to quilt the 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 um my my two borders fortunately I just have sort of two of them the musical notes because the others are just straight lines so I had to I'm, I'm quilting this this border here and coming up here I'm just going to finish this um every about half an inch in this sort of a channel like a piano key border along the edge there I'll show you some pictures um when I'm done some close-ups of it but it's really pretty it, it didn't it um it didn't take me that long I've had to step away from my machine as you know because of my back was hurting a little bit it's getting better thank you um, but yeah it, it, this was a fun project this was a fun project I was thinking about I was telling my son um, one of my sons um, he came as as well pretty mom I said you know you can get inspiration from anywhere you don't need you don't need a pattern I always say that and I don't think you th I don't, hope you don't think I'm like cavalier by saying that because you're like oh I'm not artistic well y you don't have to be let someone else be artistic I'm just looking here at my color wheel that's interesting now this color wheel excuse me look at that that to me is art that is art in itself and why couldn't you make a quilt that looks like that why couldn't you make a quilt why like okay like well, how, where would I start like that to me like you could make I see a Dresden plate Dresden plates are easy everybody's like oh they're so hard they're not you have to be precise and you have to be careful and slow but they're easy there make one huge Dresden plate and put it on a piece of white or black fabric boom you got a quilt you know all you would need is a few you know a, a little bit of green a little bit of blue a little bit of yellow to make a big Dresden plate you, do you see what I mean inspiration is everywhere this was um, um this was on Pinterest I think like a greeting card I like greeting cards I'm not copying it's my version of um, putting on a quilt because I didn't have the stuff that they have I just pull from my my um, stash here like I said I had this green and white fabric this vine forever for years I had the the uh, border for literally about 20 years when my, when our daughter was little I used to I made her a dress out of that um but yeah so you can find inspiration what I did with this I I um I accidentally <laughs> I sandwiched it together with two I forgot to unfold the batting <gasps> all of a sudden I'm, I'm thinking oh that's lovely thick batting because I had a piece left over so I'm like I'll put the back I just did it here put the backing down I put my bat I'm like oh I have a piece of batting left over and I pin the whole thing and I'm thinking oh that's that's nice thick batting I wonder which batting that is and all of a sudden I realized I had two I had two of them uh, it's a little bit thick but actually for a wall hanging it's gonna hang nice <laughs> that's my story and I had finished pinning it on I'm like oh mate I should take that batting I should just do one but it's turned out real pretty so here's my quilt um, I'm just gonna finish up this border here um, I'm gonna iron it gently and then I'm gonna put the I haven't figured out what kind of binding I'm gonna put on it yet and um, the backing is a real pretty pink and white um, I've, again I had this I've had this fabric for about 10 years I pulled that from my pink stash over here um, so here's my quilt 
Um, you'll have seen it, as I said. I keep saying that in all of its glory in the beginning. Um, but this is my quote and my progress. So thank you. thanks again, folks, for following along with me. This will be it now. All right, see you, bye. Okay, here I am in my sewing room, and here's Jackson, my grandchild. <laughs> Say hello, Jackson. Hello. Okay, now, he's working on my quilt. And, okay, go on then. That's it. You can push a little. We're going, that's it. He's helping me quilt my border. Right off, right off. Now, what I've, what I've been teaching Jackson is my Juki sewing machine has this, has this feature here. What is it, Jackson? So this is to go nor right, just middle, uh, just regular speed, and this is to go very fast, and this is to go like a turtle. Right. So which one did you just go on? Turtle. Yeah, that's good. That's good though. And which one does Nana go on? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I go fast. Anyway, oh here's Jules. Say hello, Juliet. Hi. There's my other granddaughter. Look at her. They're all coming swimming today. So it's all it's all babies and kids and swimming and sewing. All right. See you later, Jackson. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. So Sophia has joined us. I got a bunch of kids swimming in our swimming pool along with Jackson. Jackson had his turn. Sophia with her blue mouth. What have you been eating? <laughs> A popsicle. A popsicle. Okay, so now Sophia's going to have a turn finishing up my border here. Okay, go on then. You're going to look a bit crooked. Do it along the edge. That's it. Straighten it out. Keep it right along the edge. Nope, bring it this way. Actually, look, look, I vote, hold on, stop. I always tell my people who are watching me, Sophia, you want it to be sitting right in front. There you go. Oh, sorry, Jackson. Oh, sorry, darling. I just smashed Jackson. That's it. Now, hold on. Let me just put the foot pedal over to it towards you a little bit. Now, you want to be sitting. See, isn't that better? Now, look, you want to keep this needle right along the edge there, okay? Because we're going to go right up to the top. Okay. Okay. There you go. Turn it this way. That's it. Just keep it nice and straight. Okay, now you can stop. You went too far. All right. Okay. Kids out of my sewing room now. Bye bye. Love you. See you later. Bye. Bye, Nana. You bringing the chair with you? Yeah. You bringing my chair? <laughs> okay, bring it back now. Thank you, darling. Bye bye. Bye, darling. Okay. Everybody's gone home, and I can show you my quilt. Um, in all of its glory here. I have a hanging sleeve on the back, which is, is which I've used, uh, I haven't pinned it, I haven't sewn it yet. I've used this fabric here, just made it a bit wider and attached it with the binding like I have done. I've done a few tutorials on a hanging sleeve. So here's some of my quilting. As you can see, I free motion quilted, as I said, about every half inch around all of the images. And by mistake, I think I got it right with the batting. I like the definition of two layers of warm and natural batting. It really gives us a lot of definition and it's heavier. And so as a wall hanging, it hangs heavier. I like it. The fact that I, I got that right by mistake, grabbing the two things of backing of batting and I have a uh, Sophia chose a little green and pink sort of a plaid homespun to go with this look not shabby chic <laughs> there's a little bird when I and, and Jackson and Sophia were like oh you added two cats <laughs> I'm like yeah I added two cats 
and I just free motion quilted around to give them definition and I, f I stuck the roses on the spokes and as I was saying to you I free motion I raw edge stitched the birds and the butterflies and raw edge applique is raw and it will fray just up to the stitching so if you do the stitching real close it, it's fine uh, the the lace sort of the lace lent itself to really quilting it and so I did and then the um, this the quilting the vertical quilting you can see it a little bit better going up there where Jackson and Sophia were helping me stitch my lines along there so that's my quilt here is the oops hold on here's the backing real pretty pink real pretty pink and white like a damask print and the binding pretty so there's my quilt small it, 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 it was, I was working with a 40 inch square it ended up about 38 inches quilting really as, as I said really does take up the the um the the fabric the more you quilt the, the more you quilt a quilt the, the um smaller it's going to be <laughs> so there's my penny farthing quilt out of my brain off the computer just a small little wall hanging that's my project. I was saying I'm going to just be doing small projects because my back is still taking it steady, taking it easy. So I hope you enjoy this, folks. This is definitely it now. <laughs> I promise. Signing off. Everybody have a lovely evening. Bye.